Closure for the elderly victims of a financial crime that in some cases wiped out their life savings. The yeah. I-team's Kristen Byrne has been following the federal fraud case for months. Former financial advisor Chris Kubiak says his gambling addiction fueled his scheme of stealing more than $370,000 from six of his clients in southeast Wisconsin, all of them elderly. While the assistant U.S. attorney recommended more time and Kubiak's attorney less time, a judge decided on a sentence of two years and six months in prison with three years of supervised release and ordered Kubiak to pay every penny back to the victims he stole from. In February of this year, we confronted Chris Kubiak outside of federal court. He wouldn't comment on the case. He did, however, address the court during his sentencing. Our cameras were not allowed inside, but here's part of the audio recording. The, the, the direct victims, I could not feel, I, I, I cannot be more sincerely sorry and regret more what's happened. And going to counseling and just trying to earn back some of the um, some of the trust and respect that that I lost in court. Kubiak's wife and daughter spoke both apologizing for what he did. The family of one of the victims, Edith Shrogan, also spoke, saying Kubiak wiped out her nest egg and stress of this case. They believe caused Edith to have a stroke. The victim's family also told me no sentence would have been long enough as a result of Kubiak's crimes. When he gets out of prison, he can never work in the financial field again. I'm consumer investigator Kristen Byrne.